For the past 114 years, a certain state suffered 27 direct hits from uh, hurricanes. Assume that it was typical and the number of hits per year follows a Poisson distribution. What's the probability that the state will not be hit by any major hurricanes in a single year. So this is again a situation where they have given us the average of uh, 114 years, that in 114 years you had 27 uh, hurricanes, but then they ask question about one year. So if we have to first change it into a one year average. So it's 27 hurricanes per 114 years. So in one year, it will be 27 divided by 114. So 27 divided by 114 will give you a hurricane average per year. So your mean will be 27 divided by 114. So you can do 27 divided by 114 separately, or you can just put in that for the mean in stat crunch. Okay, so let's do it again. Stats, calculator. Poisson. So mean is 27 divided by 114. And what they were asking in the first part was, what's the probability that the state will not be hit by any major hurricanes in a single year? So it means number of hurricanes is zero, not being hit. So X is zero. equal to zero. So 0 0.7891. What's the probability if they hit by at least one? So at least one means greater than or equal to one. Uh, so you can do greater than or equal to one, but I can see from here that at least one will be the complement of uh, this zero. So it would be 0 0.21, 1 0.2109. I'm subtracting this from one. Mm. Is this unusual? So the 0.2109 is 21%. 21% is not unusual because it's bigger than 5%. So no. What's the probability be hit by at least three major hurricanes? So greater than or equal to three for the X. So greater than or equal to three. Yeah, at least three means greater than or equal to three. 0.0019. And is this unusual? So now that is just zero. If you move the decimal place two ahead, you get 0.19%, so that is less than 5%. So yes, that is unusual. And then uh, this one is the same. Now they ask at least two, so i just skip it. <laughs> one study showed uh, that in a certain year, airline fatalities occur at a rate of 0.014 deaths per 100 million miles find the probability that the, during the next 100 million miles, there will be that many. So uh, they give the 100 million mile average and they ask the question about 100 million mile average. So in this case, you don't have to do any adjustments to the mean. So the mean is 0.014. Uh, so exactly zero deaths. So mean is 0.014 and X is zero. Point zero one four x is equal to zero. Point nine eight six one. 
Okay, so there will be, so you know, it's never exactly, there will be, so they are asking question about exactly zero deaths. So there will be, oh, okay, so this exactly is a part of, part of the question. It's not a part of the answer. So here you're just repeating what the question is. So here it's fine. Normally, you know that we don't ever select exact as an answer. So, but this is a part of question. <coughs> so they will be uh, exactly zero deaths in approximately. So this is the approximately that we always use. Uh, this many of 100 randomly selected 100 million flights. So this was one sample of 100 million flights and you got 0 0.9861. If you select 100 of them, you would multiply the 0 0.9861 by 100 and you will get 98.61, which is 99. So now they ask uh, greater than or equal to one. So that again, I can see will be the complement of zero. So that'd be 0 0.0139. 0 0.0139. You can do it on StatCrunch if you don't want to do it through the complement. And so there will be, so now they are asking at least one. So you just repeat that one, at least one death in approximately. So again, you multiply that answer by a hundred. So this times a hundred would be 1.39. So that'd be about one. And now they just ask greater than one. So it's the same thing. Uh, I'll let you do that. And that finishes this section and this chapter.